All right, this is Susie Plays. Um, last time after I stopped the recording, I didn't go and pause uh, right away, and so I was just standing there, <laughs> and uh, some of the mice hit me, so I'm back over here. Now we're going to kill some mice. We are going to kill some little mice. Yay, mice. They're, why do I keep letting you call them mice? I don't know, they look like mice. They're the rats. That's why their tails are so big. They're very apt at dodging the strikes. They must be, they're like ninja mice, like Splinter. He's a rat, too! Well, they're ninja rats, then. <laughs> Take that, rat. Yay. Damn dirty rat. Alright. So, how about this Ebola crisis going on? <laughs> the Ebola crisis! I have heard so much about Ebola lately, and I don't want to hear any more about it. Hey, good job on that, by the way. Yay! Alright. Uh, let's see, I think I already got what was up there, right? We should give our audience members your take on it. On Ebola? Yes. Um, well, I don't that, that's know... The new, it's the new team band, right? Oh, yeah. It's, it's like a... five guys. <laughs> okay. yeah. um, all right so all right the way you play i think your best strategy is to wait for him to try to attack you and then jump on his head it's probably a good idea what you normally want to do is walk forward and smack him but if you're freezing and doing that just jump on his head that works too come down here you have to break the yeah. thing you're standing on You could just pass him up. You kind of trapped him up there. That's true. I did. Uh, these bookcases are interesting. Now, we were talking about Ebola. Like, I don't think that my take on the whole thing is very interesting, but uh, I heard someone say that it's completely fake. It's just like 9-11 and ISIS is apparently fake and uh, the Sandy Hook tragedy, which is also fake. What was else that he said was fake? But ISIS apparently is fake and Ebola. Not that, you know, it could just be a disease that's going around just like H1N1 that everyone freaked the fuck out about, but... Oh my god, it's a book! I don't know, that. This cracks me up, because one of those things listed was proved fake, and the others are just crazy conspiracy <laughs> bullshit. Alright, which one was the one that was proved fake? Nope. I think you found a secret room in the left, though. I did, but I want to hear about this uh, one that was proved fake. Were you the one who told me about Sandy Hook? I thought you said all of this came from the same person. You wouldn't be lying, would you? No, someone did go and post this on their Facebook. Um, hey, uh, song. Those are worth 500 gold. They are. Um, but I think you would also at some point uh, talk to me about that. They said the FBI didn't report any murders. So take that as you will, fake or not. Oh, yeah. I know it's kind of weird, but I kind of want to, like, go, uh... <laughs> I'm not even going to say that. Everyone's going <laughs> to... I'm already, already really weird. Uh, I want to, like, go, like, exhume, like, the, the, uh, graves, like... Well, that, that was the thing. There weren't any graves in any bodies from Sandy Hook. And then the uh... FBI reported zero murders during that month, so everyone's saying it's fake now. Very interesting. All right, book. All right, I'm not sure what the little symbols on there mean. You open up magic uh, platforms for you to stand on. Okay, so there's little symbols on there. Don't mean anything, though. Well, they might. Who knows? You're right. Well, now I have to go back. And there's a beetle in the way. There is a beetle! I hate beetles. They're not that bad. Hey, dude is really good. Ah! Uh, that's funny. I don't know if I'd go that far. Uh, I, was, I was being a little facetious. So, uh, it was... It was slightly amusing. Oh, wrong timing. No, 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 no! Aha! Woo! Alright, I did it. I took a lot of damage. You did it, Susie. <laughs> you didn't take a lot of damage. You did a little damage. You did it. You got this. Yay! Go away, rat! Your weird dangling penis. 
Woohoo! Hell yeah. I feel very accomplished. Oh no! Oh, you're finding treasure behind the banners. Yeah! That's some pro shit. <laughs> what what constitutes that as pro shit? Just out of curiosity. Yeah, I got my health back. It's a secret that you would tell people if you're writing a pro guide. Oh yeah. No! Oh, okay. All right, all there. seriousness. Like, no teasing. <laughs> no, no teasing. Get, get right next to it. And when he puts his paw up, back the fuck off. All right, all right. He shoots fire twice, so wait for the second one. Now get right next to it when he put Now back up, because he's going to do his paw. Damn it. So when his paw's... Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Sorry. Don't jump into him. Just jump straight up. Straight up. This is straight where the D-pad would come in handy. All right. You don't even have to press the joystick. Nope, pause in the way. Now just jump straight. Yeah, just keep doing that. And when his paw comes up, if he breathes fire, you can literally stand right next to him. You'll be absolutely fine. Let's just jump up and hit him. You don't gotta wait for the paw. Look at you kicking his ass. I know I don't have to move away from him while he's shooting with fire. And it's just... Right. See, what most people don't get is in games, defense is much more important than offense. If you can not get hit, you'll be able to beat anything. Hell to Yay. the yeah. That did not go very smoothly, but I did it. You can, you're a full health. Well, yeah, he killed me after. That was awesome. Which means he did absolutely as good as he needed to. Yay! All right. Here, go. Up. Oh, never mind. Well, I'll tell you later. King! I'll, what? I'm gonna do King Knight. You do Shovel Knight. Oh. Alright, alright. An interloper is in our midst. Be gone from our throne room, knave. I'm no more an intruder than you. You aren't even a real king. How dare... <laughs> oh, but you're mistaken. The pink enchantress saw me for my fabulously regal self, and now all bow before me. Bow before you, huh? Oh, yeah. and I, I think it's magenta, not pink. It's like a hunting bow. You're not but a decadent dandy. How what? How dare you? What? <laughs> Prepare to taste justice. Shovel justice! I don't want to know what shovel justice tastes like. <laughs> Dirty, I bet. Silence! <laughs> <laughs> mm. No, I'm sealed in here! He has a lot of health. Whoa! He has a lot of health. Um. Uh. No, no, no. I don't like this jumping thing. Uh -oh, uh -oh, what the uh -oh, hell is, what is this? That? Oh god. No, I don't I don't understand. What is it? It looks like confetti, but it's not fun at all. <laughs> what the hell? It's anti funfetti. Oh you can break it. You should just bounce on his head. Or at least try to. That way you're not on the ground, he can't hit you. Oh god! He is a decadent dandy. Oh, uh, you're actually doing really good. I have, I have one little thing left, but I think... No, what? you probably what won't beat him this time, but I mean, like, most of that damage is at the beginning. <laughs> All right. And let's stop here, and you can beat him next time. All what do you say? All right. Next time on Susie Plays, we will beat that decadent dandy.